This is now the ninth Olympics since they brought it back, uh, tennis back into the Olympic Games. And as you said earlier, Jan Mike, it, it is becoming a bigger and bigger deal. It seems it's always a little bit funny with these sports like tennis where there are bigger trophies out there to win Grand Slams or NBA championships or whatever it may be. But you can really tell from the reactions, both winning and losing, how much it means to these players. Oh, absolutely. And playing for your country, you know, playing Davis Cup and Olympics, obviously the same thing. Playing for your country, there's no greater honor there. And it means so much. It's more than just the singular sport. I, I'm actually one of those that thinks that it should still be a team format. I really think that the Olympics would be better served as tennis being a team format be far more interesting, I think, than having singles and these doubles draws we're so used to having. However, it means so much to these players and it was a fantastic event. Yeah, it really was. And I never got to play the Olympics. Uh, didn't come back into play until after I had retired. The only thing that I can relate to is, is playing Fed Cup. And I was on three winning Fed Cup teams. And, and Jan, Mike, I'm sure you played as well. But to have you announced from the United States, not your name, and then you have the flags on your dresses and the USA on the back of your shirt and on your sweatpants, and then they play the national anthem. Nothing like it, the chills. And so I, I imagine once you get there and you're representing your country in the Olympics and you see all those other fantastic athletes in so many different sports, it must just be amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Going and watching the other sports is, is part of the fun, seeing all these amazing athletes and, and the various things that they compete in is just incredible. And the ceremonies and the whole nine yards. So a great Olympic tennis tournament in Tokyo.